Hello everybody, my name is Zorum, and I am the creator of Cosplay Evolved. And today, we will be showing, or I will be, um, doing a quick tutorial just for all the things that you should know about cosplay and how it works and how to do everything you need to do. First, when you spawn in, if you go to your engrams and look at level 1, you will have the Persona Mirror. You can go ahead and learn that for zero, and once you get the, uh, the uh, required uh, materials, you can go ahead and craft it. It's not too bad. And of course, you can change the requirements via INI. All information on INI will be in uh, on the mod page. So, once you're done, you just place the mirror on a wall. And you can go ahead and start customizing your character. I highly, again, highly recommend checking out the INI. It lets you set minimum and maximum scalers, as well as disabling certain parts and functions of the mod. So, let's start off by selecting a head. Let's say I want to do the cat head. You'll notice you can still see the hair, um, even when you do one of the heads, and that's intentional in case you want to have hair on one of your heads. If you don't want to have hair, all you have to do is hit this arrow here, you go over to body customizations, and hide the hair parts by selecting either one of these up here, and then hitting hide part at the bottom. So now let's go back to the head, and let's go ahead and color it. Coloring is a range of 0 to 255. Uh, that's so it's easy to go online and find color pickers and stuff. So like if you mess up your skin color, you can just go online, look up skin color, and then just slap it in there. Um... So let's just select these different regions, play around with it a little bit, and let's say I want this creation, this head here, but not now. What I can do is I can hit hide part. Now the difference between hiding the part and disabling it, the only difference is that it'll still save your customizations, but it won't save the part, meaning like it won't apply it. So if I want to keep my customizations, go ahead and hit hide part instead of disabling it. Now then, let's go to the wolf and let's make it a purple wolf. Because purple is the best color. Beautiful. Nice, brilliant green eyes. And black on top. Beautiful. Now then, every other part is about the same um, when it comes to just colors and stuff like that. Um, however, another thing that you can do is edit the location, rotation, and scale. For parts like the head, um, you have to bear in mind, uh, like parts that are painted to the body, you have to bear in mind that they are painted that they will scale um, by the root of the character, which is right between the feet. To show you what I mean, if I scale the head on the z-axis, you'll see it goes up, because it's scaling by the feet. Um, so you will have to keep that in mind, so if you wanted it to be a tall wolf head, then you'd have to do something like that. However, that's not what I want, so I'm going to go back there. However, other parts, most other parts, um, will not be weight painted to the body. Meaning, when you scale them, they'll scale kind of like, more like you expect them to. So we can go ahead and change the rotation if we want. And the location. There we go. In any of these uh, spin boxes here, you can go ahead and uh, type in them if you want. Um, you can copy and paste. Um, so it allows for very, very fine customizations. Now to move on to the different parts. 
some of the different parts here include uh, wings. Wings are one of the few parts that add functionality to the game. Let's do insect wings, right? So these act as gliders. So you can glide with them just like, you know, normal. Um, now, they're, the glider functionality is a bit different on the wings in that the minimum angle, uh, like the default minimum angle, has been raised, meaning you will stay uh, more horizontal and maintain your altitude a bit better than the regular glider wings. Also, they allow for a bit quicker turning, and some of them have their own custom animations. Most of them do, actually. So that's the functionality of those. Let's move on to the next parts with functionality. Next parts with functionality would be any of the things that say fins. See, like that says fins, that says fins. These do not say fins, so they won't do it. But if we go ahead and check the fins, and I think, actually, there are a few others that do it as well. Like the... I don't remember where they are. Huh. Well, wh wherever the tentacles are, um, that's, uh, that they do the same thing. So anyways... Some of the fins, you will see it, it says water stability active. That does not make you go faster. What it does do is stabilize your character in the water. Meaning when you stop moving, you stop moving. You may sink very, very slowly, but it is nowhere near the amount of drift that you have um, normally. And that's what that does. And what it's good for is, well, building underwater. So, especially useful if you're a merfolk. Final ability would be climbing claws. There's only one right now, but I'm sure there will be more in the future. And if you noticed when we were in our body customization, you can set a claws key. I'm going to set mine to a thumb mouse button and take off the modifier. And now, whenever I want, I can click the key that I bound and pull out my climbing claws. And then whenever I want, I can hit the same key again and put them away. Of course, that hurt me bad, but yeah. So that is the climbing ability. And I believe, as for now, that it that is all the abilities connected to certain parts. Now then. Um, if you... Before we remove all parts, let's say... Let, let's go through the body customizations first. Let's select fur. And let's match the same color. So like a nice purple that cool um all right player scale let's go ahead and play with that this player scale is set in such a way that it does edit your hitbox meaning you can fit through smaller things players that are about 0.5 or 0.6 can fit through windows um so that's pretty cool go so anyways i'm gonna set that back to normal and let's go ahead and move on to create a template let's say we want an army of wolf looking people what you can do is hit create item template and go ahead and make a name for it so purple wolf
And now, let's make a new character. So I could go through manually and change everything, uh, like delete all the parts and stuff, or you can go here to make the process a lot quicker. Remove all parts, are you sure? Yes. So now I can go through and make a cat head, I guess, like I wanted originally. Cat head with, let's do antlers, some of those horns. Do some wyvern ears that doesn't really show very well. <laughs> it's clipping. Uh, sure, that's fine. And let's give it a belly. And a fin in the back. Hmm, let's see. Tails. Here we go. Let's put tentacles. And then let's go to the body and change it to just skin, I guess. Uh, black skin. There we go. And let's make another template and call it Weirdo. Actually, before we do that, let's make it big. There we go. So now, um, these templates will save everything except for the bone scales. Only because there is differences between the male and female bones, so I can't really, you know, do that. So, if we want to go back to our purple wolf, we can go ahead and hit E on this item, and it puts us back to our purple wolf. So, that's pretty good. It has a 10 second cooldown, but once that is up, you can go back, and there we go. Perfect. Now then, one thing that you do have to note is that your customizations will not be viewed when you are in first person. That means, unfortunately, in your customizer, they are not viewed there either because of the way that Ark hooked up their inventory thing, inventory preview. So there's not much I can do about that without making my mod non-additive. But, anyways, now to move on to the final portion. The final portion would be the bone customizations. In here, you can, well, edit the bones. So let's say I want a big wolf head, let's do 1.5. I always find that editing things very slightly is better than editing them a lot. Um, upper face probably isn't going to do anything on the wolf head, nor is the lower face. Neck Let's try Y. There we go. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. Um, but yeah, go nuts. You can edit tons and tons of bones to get it just like you like it. Although that is terrifying. Oh, that's even worse. All right, here's a few tips though. Um, if you want to make your arms or legs longer. Your length will be based off the x-axis on the joints. So, say the shoulder joint and the elbow joint. So let's go down to the shoulders. And if I do 1.2, you'll see it makes my arms up there slightly longer. And then elbow 1.2 makes that slightly longer. So now I'm a weird wolf with really long arms. And I could do the same thing for my legs. One thing that you do have to keep in mind, though, is as you edit the length of your legs, the longer you make them, the stranger they'll interact with the ground. So my glutes and my knee right there. So a long, long boy wolf, man. And let's put the hips down to like 0.4. Ooh, God. 
uh, 0.6, 0.8. 25 is good. All right. So that's pretty much all there is for the bones. Now that we're done with the bones, you can see that it edits them in game. And again, because I changed the leg length, my guy is now always crouching a little bit. Um, so we need to go back to bone customizations. Boots. Put that at one. Because normally they don't let you edit your leg length that much. All right. Now then. The final thing I will note is about the specifics of the preview. If you want your preview to be in a higher resolution, if your computer can support it, then you can go ahead and increase the resolution here. I normally keep mine on max. However, if your preview has part of it cutting off where it's just blurred like halfway down, that's going to be the resolution. You'll need to lower it. So you just lower it until you can see everything perfectly and it's the highest resolution you can get and then that should be good. The resolution will save so you don't have to change it every single time. And the last thing would be the light and it just well, does what you think it does. Other than that, that is the customizations mod the um uh cosplay evolved <laughs> god i forgot the name of my own mod anyways i hope you guys enjoy this mod if you want to download the mod there will be a link in the description once again please check out the links at the bottom of the mod page if you need any um if you need to figure something out or report a bug um Make sure and explore all your options. I hope you guys have fun. Until next time, see you later.